Are you looking for a healthy side dish to complete your meal? This avocado salad is a real crowd pleaser that's easy to make. Plus, you're going to love the cilantro lime dressing that brings it all together. I prefer to use Haas avocados. They are widely available in most markets. They have a soft and creamy texture and they hold their shape well when mixed in the salad. When selecting the fruit, there's a few things you can do to check to see if it's ripe. The first is to remove the stem if it's still intact. If it's green underneath, that means it's ripe. If it's brown, then it might be overripe. The next thing you can do is place it in the palm of your hand and give it a gentle squeeze. It should feel firm with just a slight give. There should be no mushy soft spots. For this recipe, we need about three to four large avocados. These are about eight to nine ounces in size. To cut the fruit, the first thing is to remove the stem if you haven't already. Place the avocado on the board, cut it lengthwise until it hits the pit and then just turn until you reach the other side. Twist it to separate it into two halves. To remove the pit, you could take the blade of the knife and then just give it a light tap and turn. See how easy it came out? Hold your fingers like this and pinch to remove the pit. We want to cut the flesh into large chunks about three quarter inch in size. To do that, just run the blade down the fruit lengthwise turn and cut into dices. I like to keep the pieces nice and chunky so that they don't break down too much while I'm mixing. Use a spoon and just scoop out the flesh. Going to cut the remaining avocados. We need three cups. Once cut, the flesh is prone to oxidation, which means it's going to turn from bright green to brown if exposed to the air for too long. So I'm going to cover the bowl with some plastic wrap or you could use foil. Now I'm going to prepare the other ingredients. To create a colorful and flavorful salad, I like to add a variety of mix-ins to give contrasting tastes and textures. You start by cutting an English cucumber, cut off the ends, and then because it's really long in size, I'll cut it down into about three portions. English cucumbers have a really nice thin skin so we don't have to remove it, and they have really small seeds so you don't have to scoop them out. Slice in half, cut into quarters, line them up, and slice into quarter inch thick pieces. We need two cups. Radishes add a really interesting peppery taste and crispiness to the salad. Just remove the leaves by trimming it off. They have this long root end, so trim that off as well. Cut them in half lengthwise. Hold your fingers in the claw again, and you're gonna make really small cuts into eighth inch thick strips. We need a half cup. Cherry tomatoes are going to add a nice sweetness to the salad. Cut them in half into bite-sized pieces. You can also use Campari or plum tomatoes, but for those varieties, since they're larger, I would remove the seeds. We need two cups. Bread onions are gonna add some pungency. Trim off the top and the root end, making sure that this portion is intact. Cut in half lengthwise, peel off the skin. I want them to be about one inch long pieces. Just cut down lengthwise, then cut into thin eight inch thick strips. I like these smaller pieces because we don't want the onions to be overpowering. We need a half a cup. Now for a little heat, I have a jalapeno pepper. Cut off the top, slice in half lengthwise, now be really careful to not touch the inside of the pepper. I could already smell the heat. The capsaicin or the spicy molecules are in the seeds and in this membrane in the middle. Just carefully use the tip of the knife to remove. If you like a spicier salad, you could definitely keep some of the seeds in, but we'll keep it mild for now. <laughs> Slice into thin strips, line them up, and chop into fine pieces. You could also use serrano peppers, some red Thai chilies for even a spicier kick. We need two teaspoons. The fruits and vegetables are prepped. I'm going to add it to the bowl with the cut avocados. Remove the plastic wrap and I'm gonna save this because I'm gonna add it on later. 
Add two cups of cucumbers, two cups of the sliced tomatoes, a half a cup of the sliced radish, a half a cup of sliced red onion, and two teaspoons of chopped jalapeno pepper. Cover the bowl and set it aside. To make the dressing, I'm going to prep some fresh ingredients. The limes are going to add this acidity and tartness to the dressing, but I always zest it first. The peel, oh, it smells so good already. The peel has these citrus oils that are going to infuse into the dressing, so I never leave it out. We need one teaspoon. Cut the lime in half. We're gonna need two of these. Use your handy juicer and squeeze out the juice. This is not only gonna add acidity, but it also contains ascorbic acid, which is going to reduce the rate of browning on those avocados. Keeping the flesh nice and bright green. We need a quarter cup. Mm, some cilantro is going to add a nice herbaceous note to the dressing and it complements the lime really well. This has been washed. Grab the bunch like this, holding the stems, and then just use the blade to cut off the leaves. And then you can just pick off any stems from the leaves if you see any. I know that some people are not a fan of cilantro, so you can use parsley or basil instead. Gather the leaves into a pile and use the fanning motion to rock and chop. Just run the blade back and forth until you have small, fine pieces. We need two tablespoons. I like to chop a little extra for garnish as well. Fresh garlic is going to add a little bit of a bite to the salad dressing. Trim off the ends of both sides and then smash. This makes it easier to peel. Just slice to thin pieces then use the rocking motion to mince. Chop this up as fine as possible. We don't want to have big chunks in your teeth. <laughs> we need one teaspoon. Add one teaspoon of lime zest, quarter cup of lime juice, two tablespoons of honey. This is going to add a nice sweetness, but you could also use maple syrup if you'd like. Two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna whisk this all together until the sugars are dissolved as well as the seasonings. Having the Dijon mustard and the honey in here now act as light emulsifiers, so it's going to keep the dressing more stable, preventing it from separating. I use a half a cup of avocado oil because it complements the fruits and the vegetables really nicely. However, you could use a light olive oil. The key is to slowly add the oil while constantly whisking. We want to break up the fat into small droplets and this is going to give a nicely thickened emulsion. You don't wanna rush this process. If you do, it's going to start to separate and you'll end up with a really greasy dressing. This would also make a really good marinade for chicken or shrimp. This looks good, it's time to bring everything together. The last step is to drizzle the salad dressing over the ingredients. Toss everything until it's combined. You'll notice that some of the avocado starts to break down a little bit, creating a creamy coating, but don't over mix. We want those nice big chunks still. I recommend serving this right away for the best taste and texture, or you can cover it and store in a refrigerator for up to one day. For the final topping, I just add a little bit more cilantro for garnish. If you're an avocado fan and looking for more recipes, give my guacamole recipe a try right here. It's a great appetizer to serve with some crunchy tortilla chips. I hope you enjoyed learning the science behind avocado salad, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot when you do. See you in the next video. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs>